Welcome back everyone, David here. Today's game review is Lunar Loops, made by Freedom Games. After completing the game, here my thoughts what the game has to offer. Your main character is called Bella, and her sidekick is a robot called Tetra, who has like bunny ears. <laughs> they protect people from alien attacks. This entire game story revolves on these aliens called Mercs that are attacking the planet and these people. Graphics are pixel, very well done. It does give it like sometimes a Game Boy Advance look to the game. Combat here is normal RPG. You select a skill you want to use to attack or add shields to protect yourself. Every attack here has a cost of MP. There are no normal attacks. Each skill has different costs of MP. Then you will select, after you select the attack, you will select one random perk. It can be to increase damage, take no damage for one turn, stun the enemy for one turn, etc. The enemy will have one attack. For most part, you can use shields to block the damage, but you gotta time it really well. But sometimes you cannot use shields and you have to dodge the random attacks. As you attack, you will increase your skill bar. Then when full, you can select three skills to do a lux combo for a good amount of damage. It can be three of the same skill or one of each and you can actually perform a really cool, awesome combo attack. As you travel, you will find items on the ground, HP, shield, skill upgrades, as well as money. There are two mostly types that will use uh, the currency here in this game, Bytes and Astrotech. These can be used to trade with store sellers or merchants found as you explore for skills, items, or ships, parts that mostly is cosmetic. There is one merchant that will only trade you in skill points and they have very rare perks sometimes. There are various side quests to do here for a good amount of pocket chain, sometimes, or a skill as a reward. If you see an NPC with a green hexagon, they have a side quest for you to do. Three types of skills. The ones that will cost you, the ones that you select random after you select the attack, and the third one. These are the most special and very rare. They have no cost and you can equip a lot of them. Because at the beginning of the game you can only select 10 skills so you can use to attack or etc. And for the random uh, perk that has no cost, you can only select three, but you can upgrade this to five. All right, guys, so the final score for Luna Lux is... The fights here can take up to three to five to 10 minutes sometimes. This is normal for RPG games because the first 70% of the game, you will do less damage on your first playthrough till you figure out what skills are worth upgrading and what merchants will sell you the really rare special skills that you really need so you can buff your damage a lot. All right, everyone, this is Devil Link 05 signing up. Take care.